today on the 18 October 2010, PVC HR also uh, World Youth Day for the Democracy and highlighted uh, the, uh, a human rights activist associated with the PVC HR uh, who is in jail uh, just uh, one day before. Uh, most important thing, if you look the rule of law here in India, Uttar Pradesh is a province, and in Uttar Pradesh, Varanasi is a place, is a holy city of, of the Hindus. And here, um, PVCHR is working on the grassroots level. And in in the Varanasi, there is a full full police station, and in full full police station looked by the a, a specific court in the district court of Varanasi. And there is a three case. You know, that one case, the death threat to me uh, by uh, Ramas Rishin. One case, uh, release of the bonded labor from the Rajendra Tiwari from the Virva village. Uh, and this is the third case, uh, a fake case, uh, lost by, through the court procedures, lost by Sijjan Yadav. Sijjan Yadav is a muscle man. Uh, he was head of the Pindra village where Mangla and BBC uh, have the onslaught against the corruptions and the caste systems and the all malpractices by Sitchal Yadav. He filed a case few, in 2008 and in this 2008 uh, what happened um, uh, he came here and, uh, and in this case what the police did police did, did not gave the summons to him, never informed to the Mangla, and just before the Hindu festival of Dasehra, uh, caught him and uh, brought to the court, and this court sent to the, uh, this person to the jail, because that day, uh, uh, strike by the lawyers, and uh, there is no lawyers by the legal service authority in, in this country, in this India. But in the second case, you know, that, um, this Ramasar Singh gave the death threat to me and there is a case against him and when the same court issued the valuable warrant, same police station pulling for inform immediately, he came and he, he take the uh, uh, <laughs> uh, bail. And the third thing, if you look that, uh, there is a one case in 2005, Mangla's case in 2008. But one case in 2005, release of the bonded labor from Rajendra Tiwari, he was charged, he, he was charged, and, um, but there is no summons, there is a no arrest, no warrant, there is no speedy trial by this, um, uh, this court. But uh, court is very much worried about the uh, powerful people. So a, a person, born in the other backward cars, working for the Dalits, have the different treatment by the police and the different treatment by the judiciary. And the upper caste people, muscles man, uh, who, who are the biggest violator of the rule of law in this country, and they are not respecting the human rights, uh, they are enjoying the all uh, privileges by police and uh, this judicial process. And there is no accountability. This is the high and right time and the questions arise here. How this court, because you know that in this Uttar Pradesh, in Allahabad, uh, in 1995, district court, a Dalit judge had, um, transferred, upper caste just came, and the was the chair of the uh, that chair, and uh, for the purification of because they are, there is a sitting by uh, unpurified due to the sitting by the um, a untouchable, so called untouchable Dalit. Yeah. And, um, and um, this ca case came into the here and uh, media and everywhere. Nothing happened. And uh, this is the situation of the judiciary here. This is the treatment of the judiciary. Why uh, police stations? and um, um, inform properly to the Ramasra Singh and did not inform to the uh, Mangna. It is, 
it is highlighting if you are asking about the accountability if you are asking about the rule of law they will trap you manipulate you and send into the jail especially the young people and and you are telling this is the democracy this is not a democracy this is the hypocrisy democracy on the paper democracy in the, the hypocrisy on the and autocracy might is right on on the practice if we want to create real the superpower this country especially the india and india want to show it is important to establish rule of law on the grassroots level if you want to eliminate the organized violence if you want to eliminate the torture if you want to eliminate the corruptions if you want to eliminate the um, 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 Uh, discriminatory practices then you are going to establish real participatory and dynamic democracy and substantial democracy in our country and in this way and uh, we will contribute the democracy of the globe so i appeal to the whole world human right fraternity and the indians and the others please post the pressures on the supreme honorable supreme court of india prime minister of india ki they will establish the rule of law they will fix the accountability of this police systems this double standard and hypocrisy one treatments for the upper caste hindus and one treatment for the dalits and the obcs in this country this is very very frustrating and this frustrating situations creating eliminating and uh, creating to eliminate the faith on the uh, judiciary and the police and this will uh, uh, if you look in um, uh, giving uh, the defeat of the non violence in this country mm-hmm. one hand we, our system our rule of lords is supporting uh, <laughs> this uh, people who uh, who is practicing organized violence uh, Uh, through the caste systems and through the corrupt po- politics and all and second hand we have the torture against the marginalized people there are people who are fighting in this country human rights defenders and all so uh, please it is uh, very very important uh, if you want to create real uh, um, democratic and global world we need to act on that Thank you.